welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Robins three-legged cast iron griddle pan. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This channel is an extension to my main channel, Kent Survival, which is where I use the gear that I review here. Today, like I said, we're looking at this Robins three-legged griddle pan. Uh, it's very similar to one made by Petromax. Uh, they do a couple of different sizes, um, but I'll show you this one not burning. <laughs> so here is the Robins pan itself. As you can see on the bottom here, you've got the uh, holes for the legs and uh, a logo embossed on it there. It's cast iron. I have seasoned mine. I think they come pre-seasoned, but uh, I always season my cast iron. Just about fit in the oven, so bear that in mind. There's other ways of seasoning it, but uh, yeah, I like to do it in the oven. It's a bit more controlled. So these cost in the region of £40. I'll, I'll link below. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, which costs you nothing if you happen to use it. Um, yeah, uh, they're quite heavy. So you're looking at uh, 5.8 kilograms, I believe, uh, altogether and that's 12.9 pounds I believe. You've got um, 48 handle to handle centimetres, 18 inches, uh, 44 the other way which is about 17 inches and it's about 23 centimetres tall assembled which is about 9 inches. Like I said on the bottom here you've got these three legs and they will just screw in quite easily like so. If you want to tighten them right up, you've got this notch here so you can fit like a spanner or pliers or something on there. And it uh, doesn't take long to put them together. And there we're done. So it just sits like that. I've got two of them. And the reason for that is uh, I want one as a fire pit, which I just showed you, and one to cook on. So you can stack these in the same way you can the Petromax versions. They don't come with a case or anything, so uh, you may have to make one or buy the Petromax case for this. But they are a bit cheaper than the Petromax, which is why I got them. One of the benefits for cooking on these is you've got this uh, curved top here. So you can um, have what they call zonal cooking which means you're going to be hotter in the middle than you are on the outside. Uh, so if something's cooking or burning <laughs> too quickly in the middle, just move it to the outside and just use that for kind of finishing off higher temperature stuff. It's cast iron, so the more you use it, the better it's going to get, the more and more seasoned it's going to get. Uh, I've only used it once um, so far, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it a lot. Where might you use something like this? Uh, it's going to be car camping, garden, if you've got a permanent camp of some sort, that type of thing. You're clearly not going to be backpacking with this. So yeah, I've only walked kind of 100 metres from my truck today with the two of them. When you pack it down, it's obviously nice and thin. I think it's about five centimetres really, and you take the legs off. So it's nice and thin to actually carry, just a, a little bit weighty. As you can see here, you don't really get any airflow restrictions or anything with the griddle pan. Uh, as long as you're stacking your wood correctly, you're going to have no problems at all. And uh, no heat at all underneath. Well, it's warm, but I mean, the ground doesn't get hot. Uh, unless you get kind of ash and embers fall off, you're going to be pretty safe anywhere. Uh, a lot of campsites, at least here in the UK, don't allow open fires, but you can have them on raised platforms like this. Um, so they're good for that sort of thing. And I'll get going on this and I'll show you I'm stacked. So even with all that weight on there, we've not really got too much penetration. And this ground here is a bit softer because it's uh, by the stream here. So that's good. And uh, that's not impeding the airflow for the fire either being on there. For a bit of a summary here, this is the one I've used a couple of times now for a fire. This is my nice seasoned one. This is it after that cook I just did. And uh, it's pretty much nice and re-seasoned. There's no stickiness to that oil now. A few uh, raindrops. <laughs> so you can see it's pretty easy to keep nice. Um, this would come up nice for one of the two. Give it a brush off with a wire brush. 
and then re-season it with some oil but that's my fire pit I'll just put some oil on it and leave it so it doesn't rust um, these have cooled down now didn't take too long uh, they're pretty great yeah, it's a good price for them because some can be more expensive and they definitely have their use just being able to just walk away from this spot right now is is fantastic no clean up of the fire or anything yeah so I'm liking these and you're probably gonna see more of them on the uh, main channel uh, I'll stick some links below there'll be affiliate links that means commission for me if it gets used no extra for you um, but yeah you know if this is something uh, you'd enjoy or not but uh, they do appear to be very well made well they are Robins after all <laughs> Right, thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this and uh, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.